Hey traders, Mike Katz here with a quick trader takeaway, a little bit before the close, figure we get this out of the way. Uh, a few good names to talk about today. Market-wise, the spies are up a little bit. Basically, if we look at um, uh, spies behaving, we had the gap down yesterday on the tariff news, and then all day we just rallied off of it. Today we gapped up a little bit. So when we pulled back to this 274 level, we pretty much bounced off of it so for now that looks okay like a good pivot and if we get back up to the top of the range I would confirm the trend right now we've got higher highs higher lows and that seems to be working okay so um, mostly looking at long trades except for some of these that are proving that they might have some potential and um, the trash names so one trash name that was in play today was ASTC I tried not to be too active in it. Um, gaps up yesterday and then kind of holds and today just opens. And I put the trade on pre-market no noticing that the volume profile was really building up here. Right there, volume profile is really building up and we're opening below that. So pre-market, I put it on here and I didn't trade around it too much. Just one trade, I put it on. And then I covered half on this drop here. And then it's been sideways ever since. I've been watching it. Um, if it starts to collapse and take out lows, I might hit into it again and size back in. But right now I got half on. And if it looks to do nothing, then I've got nothing to do too. So ASTC, that was a really nice trade. What else do we have today? We have these China... IPO names that have been running of late. Basically, what we're talking about, what are we talking about? We're talking about IQ, H U Y A, and Sogo, and Billy. Okay. So, personally, I love trading. One of my favorite strategies that I used to trade quite a bit before is playing a sector. And it comes in really handy whenever a whole sector is in play. Uh, it used to be very handy when I traded the gold sector, when there was a lot of action there years ago. For a couple of years straight, all I did was trade oil, and the oil sector was really active. And today, this is, you know, I consider this a sector, the Chinese IPO names that have been you know, have had these really crazy moves, 100, 200% moves. Um, I started looking at them and I created this indicator for myself. So basically what this is, is just an indicator that adds up a basket of symbols and charts that one basket instead of figuring out what each one's doing. This one is just an aggregate and it charts the basket with one chart, like an index. So on the left is a 30 minute, chart on the right is a one minute chart and basically what I'm doing is I'm watching this and I'm trying to react to the basket and the sector and I fire off a basket order of a few symbols and then I'll buy or sell that basket with a certain ratio so that that was working really well today on Billy caught a really nice drop in BILI this was the weakest one out of all those and as it was working, you know, at first I was feeling my way around, figure out what I want to do. But then when I saw when it was weak and the sector's going down, I started shorting and shorting and just adding as it started working, really adding, um, added some more in, down here and then just had one cover here for half and then just traded around the core a little bit. But the key was add, 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 add as it's working. Uh, as opposed to, you know, those mistakes that I also make from time to time, add, add, add when it's not working, right? So Billy was fantastic. And what else? We had Hua, H-U-Y-A also, short, short cover, same idea. They move the same. Uh, they move along with each other. And S-O-G-O -O was another one. And IQ was pretty good too at first. Bam, bam, nice move, cover half down here, cover the rest. But IQ has been the strongest one out of them. And 
I took a couple of losses afterwards, but still doing well in the name. So I'm going to adjust my weightings a little bit so that until IQ proves that it's also as weak as the other ones, I, um, I'm going to do a lot less of IQ. Um, so basically the trading around the sector in this case is just a handful of symbols. Um, but I brought this strategy out of the out of the playbook. It's one I haven't used in a while, but I feel really comfortable when I trade it, especially when a whole sector is in play. Um, it, I feel that I, I have a good edge noticing what's weak, noticing what's strong, and using the, the leaders in that sector to time what the rest is going to do. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. This is Mike Katz. We're going to keep it short today. Today's trader takeaways. Thank you very much.